Welcome back to Zach Collect Stuff. I love this hobby. A couple realizations I'm coming to though is uh, I'm never going to stop collecting. And secondly, I'm acquiring way more basketball cards than I ever thought I would. Recently, you may have seen my estate sale videos um, where I acquired a pretty big box of cards for a good price and there's a good chunk of football cards in there. So uh, I contacted a guy that I know locally, Trenton. Uh, he is a collector of only football is what he says. So he had interest in the football that I had and he said he was going to bring over some other stuff that I might want to look at and trade um, for those football cards. So what I have here is a box of basketball and baseball cards that I traded for the football cards that I got at the estate sale. Um, I had to put some cash in on my end just because it wasn't equal to what um, he was getting and I was getting. After the deal was done, I had traded him all the football stuff that I had, plus 100 bucks cash, <clears throat> for this box of basketball and baseball. So we are going to walk through the basketball and baseball together. There's some great stuff in here, lots of 90s basketball, some Michael Jordan, some I think there's some Kobe, some Allen Iverson stuff in here, just some great stuff all around, and then, of course, some baseball cards as well. Um, my goal was to downsize take those football cards and turn it into a few baseball or basketball cards, but I ended up getting about three times as many cards as what I had. Oh well, I got more cards. They're fun to look through, so let's go. I'll start out by shouting out Trenton here. He runs a, a Whatnot and eBay store. This is his info here, Steel Yard Sports Cards. Steel Yard 23 is his Whatnot info. Um, great dude, super nice, honest guy to deal with. So uh, if you are in Whatnot, check him out there. First lot here is just a bunch of rookies, baseball rookies. Some good names in here. Um, these are ones that I'm just going to kind of set aside. And if any of them turn into anything special, then I'll have a couple more rookie cards of them. This is stuff that I have a ton of already, but I figure it's easy to put these in dollar boxes and things along those lines. Just base rookies, a couple inserts, a couple of these top 70 manufactured relics of Mark McGuire. These are things that I put in my dollar box as well. Uh, Pache, napkin relic. A cool Brett Myers, one, two, three strikes, you're out. Not sure from which set that came from. Cool one there. Nate Pearson Clubhouse Collection, Geraldo Perdomo from Contenders, and then a Camilo Doval, just giant napkin relic. This was probably the best baseball card that there was in that mix. It's an Andres Jimenez autograph numbered four out of 99. Super cool looking card there. Like that one a lot. There are a couple Derek Jeter cards I'm going to put in my collection. Uh, lots of 90s rookies here. Cool Jim Tomei, a couple Manny Ramirez, Kenny Lofton, Mike Mussina. Again, these are just kind of dollar box cards. Spencer Steer parallel, uh, the silver parallel. Cool gold border Baumans of Bonds, McGuire, and Larkin. A couple really neat Sammy Sosa inserts. So really liked those two. Uh, and then the Super Tools is just a great looking insert. Love that one. Smoltz, Boggs, Hologram, Sandberg, Grace, Grace, Brian, Seaver, Palmer. And to finish off the baseball, we have this deck here. We got a Rod Carew, a Mickey Mantle insert, cool Barry Bonds card, a couple neat inserts from the uh, 2000 Revolution card. We got a Nomar Garcia Pera and a Sean Green. Uh, some more modern stuff. Nice Barry Bond Spirit of the Game insert. Nomar. We got these cool, um, I think they were from Post. Yeah, the Post. They're probably a serial card pack. Uh, but this one had Ichiro in it and the Jason Giambi card in it. But the Giambi's not worth much. But the, the Ichiro seems to sell decently. Um, hopefully it's catching the motion on there. Got four or five of those. A cool Sammy Sosa of the same thing. Stan Musial insert. Walter Johnson tops triple threads base. David Ortiz rookie. Griffey. A nice Mike Trout tribute insert. And a couple Ken Griffey Juniors. That is all the baseball. Yeah, so let's go on to the basketball cards. The second portion of this is kind of some modern basketball. Not very much modern basketball, but we have this stack here. Um, just good players and or rookies. And so uh, there's like a Harden insert, Grayson Allen we got next. There's a few of this guy, Jalen Hood, Shafino, um, rookies, different parallels and stuff like that. So that's what that stack is. Another Jalen Hood, Shafino, 
um, Kendall Brown, Chris Paul. So a bunch of decent players, but just base cards in this stack here. These are the ones that were in cases. Got a D-Wade. Got a few LeBron James base cards. Nicer base cards. Cool looking. One insert of LeBron. We got a Vince Carter serial number. This one is from Contenders. It's serial numbered 13 out of 99. Cool one there. Scotty Barnes rookie, a couple of mellow ball rookies, and Asar Thompson. I'll toss that one in the PC, let it sit there for a while. As a Pistons fan, hopefully he does well. Rui, there's a Chet Holmgren rookie in there. A Ja Morant, NBA Hoops rookie in there. Kaminga, a few of these Zion dominance cards. And I couldn't remember if these were his rookie year or not, but it's 2020, 2021. I couldn't remember if his were 1920 or 2021. So, we've got three of those. Got a DeMontis Sabonis in there. Kind of cool. We got uh, DeMar DeRozan. Silver Prism there. Killian Hayes rookie. Draymond Green. Green lasers or something. I don't know. Uh, Clay Thompson. Splash. A couple Trey Young inserts. Those are really cool. That one, the color match is pretty sweet. Carl Malone. Cracked Ice. Not numbered. Coach. That one's numbered to 150. John Morant. Not numbered. Peyton Pritchard, rookie. It's like a shimmer or something. Not sure which one that is, but it's a premier level. D'Angelo Russell and, again, a Jalen Hood Shafino. So those are the modern basketball that were in that lot. You can see here, this is a lot of basketball. Lots of 90s basketball. Great names, good inserts. Some fun stuff to go through here. Maybe dollar cards, maybe 25-cent cards, something like that. But like a, a Tracy McGrady Air Club for Men. Matumbo rookie, Lamar Odom rookie, Peyton rookie, Charles Barkley insert, David Robinson rookie, another Gary Payton rookie, this cool Penny Hardaway rookie exchange card, this sweet Spud Web. This is from Fleer Retro 2012 2013. Cool Spud Web there. Just some great players. These ones are just serial numbered rookies, so I threw them in here. Elton Brand. If you like Elton Brand, there's a stack of his stuff in there. Guys like Jermaine O'Neal and Andrew Bogut rookies, Al Thornton rookies. Just a bunch of these cool cards that'll go in my dollar box. People can kind of tear through those. Antoine Jameson rookie. Lots of serial numbered, high serial numbered cards. There's a Luke Walton rookie. So, a bunch of Jason Kidd stuff in here. Sean Kemp. And this stack is just a bunch of base cards and other inserts um, of big name guys from the 90s and early 2000s. Got Scotty Pippen in here, Kevin Garnett, um, Dennis Rodman. Just a ton of cool names like that, cool inserts. Just to give you an idea of what's in here, got like a cool Scotty Pippen double trouble insert. Uh, David Robinson, USA Career Stats. This one's in some pretty rough shape. It's got some edge edge issues. Some of these neat cards here. So I am setting up at a show in August, so I might kind of try to figure out a way to kind of do these at a dollar a piece or something like that. Or these little ones like this, I'll put in a 25 cent box or 10 cent box. But let, let me know what you would do. What do I do with these? Like obviously, the inserts are the big names. I'll probably put these in a dollar box. But what about... What about like a Dennis Rodman card? Does it does that go in a 10 cent box? Does that go in a 25 cent box? You tell me, where would you like to see something like that? If you were at a show, where would you expect to see like a Scottie Pippen or a Charles Barkley base card? So that's kind of what that stack is all about there. There's some great name stuff, some really cool looking inserts. Maybe not a great name, but this Trajan Langdon is a really cool looking insert. Another No Limit from T-Mac. We got some cool partial insert sets here. Like this Hologam one is really neat looking cards. Um, I didn't have any big names in this one except for like Dominique Wilkins. But you can see the hologram behind him is super colorful. It pops really well off the card. Just some really cool looking cards. Clyde Drexler's in there. But yeah, Clyde and Dominique Wilkins are the biggest names in there. Everybody else is kind of a... Good players from the 90s and early 2000s, not the ones that are really worth much. So super cool Hollow Jam insert cards. I like those ones a lot. Another partial insert set that I really enjoyed looking through here 
was this uh, NBA All Star, uh, All Star One Retro. This is from '97 Fleer. So got some great names in here: Jason Kidd, John Howard, Grant Hill, Penny Hardaway, Peyton, Lonzo Mourning, Reggie Miller, Mick Richmond, Shaq, Sean Kemp, David Robinson, John Stockton, Carl Malone, Clyde Drexler, Hakeem Olajuwon. Super cool looking insert set. I might try to finish this one off. Uh, I'm not sure the exact numbering because obviously this is part of the regular set from Fleer. But uh, I have to check out the checklist and see how many more I need to get. This one is from 1994 Upper Deck. And it is H1 through H20. So we got Barkley, Hakeem Olajuwon. It talks about like which uh, predictor they are. So it's like All-Star Game MVP. NBA All-Star Game MVP. And then it talks about a couple other ones. Defensive Player of the Year predictor. A couple of those. So I'm sure there are other predictors out there. This one is just two of them. It's just the All-Star Game MVP and the Defensive Player of the Year. Um, so I'm sure there's other predictors out there from this year, but it's it's numbers 1 through 20. So kind of a cool insert run there in those ones we have more of the hall of famers here a couple of hakeem Olajuwon cool inserts this one the super team card i didn't realize that they were actually pretty desirable but some kevin garnett's there there's on lines of morning there's a cool lamar odom clear shots great looking gary payton insert i love these ones from the 90s marbury rookie a nice penny hardaway gold embossed from tmb Penny Hardaway, topped black gold, one of my favorite insert sets from the 90s. This great looking Isaiah Ryder insert. Another cool Chris Weber franchise futures insert. Fleer Metal, Carl Malone, Cyber Metal. Got three of these great coast to coast inserts. Got Gary Payton, Stefan Marbury, Latrell Sprewell. I think these cards just look really cool. I'm going to put them up back here. I think they catch the light really well. Really nice looking foil or refractors on there. A couple cool Jason Kids. Kerry Kittles here. And we got this really neat one here. It's called a TV cell predictor. It's still pretty dark, but at least you can see a little bit better what the TV cell is. But it's Kerry Kittles, Patrick Ewing, Superman. Marcus Camby, Flare Showcase Grace. That's a cool looking card. Super nice. Got some other inserts here. Vince Carter Tops Chrome. Got an early Chris Paul there. Ray Allen Rookie. Charles Barkley. Another Ray Allen Rookie. A Rookie Rewind. Earlier Dwayne Wade. Vince Carter. A couple Steve Nash Rookies. I've got a bunch of these ones. That one I don't think I had yet. Ewing, Jason Kidd, Jason Kidd. Nice. Patrick Ewing, top's finest. Dakeem Bay Motumba, upper deck, upper deck rookie. It's a little lot here of the ones that I love to collect. Players that I really liked watching play. Um, we got Shaq. A couple of the great looking inserts here. This one's cool looking. All-Star Weekend. It's got the basketball texture there. Nice triple threat. Hardwood leader couple other shacks there. This is a really cool NBA Records Shaquille O'Neal collection. So, super cool one there. Top prospect from Upper Deck and a Fleer Ultra rookie from Shaq. A couple Tim Duncan inserts. Really nice looking inserts. A huge stack of Shaq base cards here. Uh, lots of cool looking cards. couple great looking inserts but the corners are all mucked up in the bottom but yeah that stack of Shaq cards got a stack of Chicago Bulls not Michael Jordan we got some Pippen base cards got some Dennis Rodman in here this great looking all-star Rodman or a Scotty Pippen this one I think is the foil or the shimmer version I want that like a rainbow foil a nice Scotty Pippen triple threat and a cool Rodman rebound, Slamland rebounds. A few Kobe's in there. Some of these Y3K Kobe's, where there's like different poses here for Kobe. 
Um, there's three different ones. Got a duplicate of one. Another Kobe base. This is an earlier Kobe. Second year. And a couple of these really cool second coming Kobe Bryant and Reggie Miller cards. In the box, there was a few relics and autographs. Nothing huge here. These will be just dollar box things for me, pretty much. Got a cool Jason Richardson relic card, game worn. That one's numbered out of 350. Got an Andre Miller and Julius Hodge dual relic. It says game worn or from SP Game Used. Had a nice dual autograph of Javaris Crittenden and Mario West. I'm sure that was cool when these guys were rookies. Got a Moses Wright autograph from Georgia Tech. And we have this Chris Boucher, Boucher, Boucher uh, autograph numbered out of 25. That's actually pretty nice. Um, pretty cool card. Not a desirable name for the most part, but a really cool looking card. A great little lot here going into the PC. Got this cool second coming, Vince Carter and Grant Hill. Second coming, Larry Hughes and Allen Iverson. Obviously, Iverson is the one that I collect off of that one. Some nice Allen Iverson base cards, ones that I don't have yet. So, used to love watching this guy play. He was so electric. He was a little bit cocky, but you know what? Like, he had the game to back it up. Cool duel of Derek Coleman and Allen Iverson there. The old... 1997 basketball rookies that I think everybody had. Cool NBA tip-off from 2000 Tops. Starter Ultra Abilities from Ultra. A couple more. This is a You Crash the Game, Iverson. The other PC items here. Got a bunch of Pistons stuff. So Joe D, Rasheed Wallace, Ben Wallace, Chauncey. Some more Sheed and Rip Hamilton. Tayshawn Prince. There's a Rip Hamilton rookie and a Tayshawn Prince rookie. Pretty cool there. Then, of course, a bunch of Grant Hill cards. Love these things. Got a nice rookie there. Put that in a case. This is also a rookie, I believe. There's a Kevin Garnett in there. Another Rashid. More Grant Hills. Just some base cards there. Another rookie, another rookie. Grant Hill insert was a pretty cool one. It's Metal Shredders from Fleer Metal 96-97. Definitely the nicest Grant Hill card that was in that grouping, but a couple more Grant Hill rookies. So, great additions to the Grant Hill collection. And in the midst of that box of basketball cards, well, first of all, we have the Mark Jackson murder card. And <clears throat> it's called the murder card because of those two guys right there. If you don't know who those are, those are the, those are the Menendez brothers. Um, but this is an iconic card because of that. Not because Mark Jackson is on it. He's a great player and all, but uh, that is why this card is iconic. Um, this Lamar Odom MVP promotion redemption card is actually pretty rare as well. Uh, pretty cool to find that in there. Not really sure how much these go for, but from what I can find, they are not very common. So pretty cool to find that one. Then we have a Stefan Marbury Stadium Club First day issue. Pretty cool card there. But this one is numbered out of 150. 92 out of 150. So I'm going to have to figure out if this one is worth grading. Um, he's a bigger name from the 90s and 2000s. So uh, if this grades out well, with it being a rarer card, is it going to be worth it to grade it? That I don't know. And then this one is super rare. Uh, we have a Stadium Club Chrome first day issue from Kenny Anderson. And uh, this one is numbered 4 of 25. So ultra rare. 90s insert here, 90s parallel. Um, too bad it's Kenny Anderson, but uh, still a great looking card. Um, super rare. And I have to do the same thing with this one. Do we grade it and try to sell it or do we just kind of sell it as is? Um, but yeah. Super cool card there. couple great-looking rare cards from basketball. Got a bunch of Michael Jordan cards here. Lots of base cards, but a few inserts in the mix that make it a pretty great little lot. So, got a base, base. These snap cases, I'm going to have to change these out and put them in regular top loaders. But some real, really cool upper deck promotional one there. 63-point game. Love how it has the gold signature right across the top. This is a great-looking 
insert from upper deck. Team MVP, it's got the hologram in there in the top right corner. Nice looking little insert there. Got an Earth Shakers, Michael Jordan. Cool insert there too. And then a bunch of these just base cards. Got a Sam Vincent. Now, um, same set as the Mark Jackson back there. Another rare card. Not really rare because there's a ton of them out there, but it's rare in the fact that Michael Jordan is right here in the foreground, and yet he's wearing a number 12 jersey. That's not his normal number. His jersey apparently had been stolen the day of the game, and uh, he was forced to wear this number 12 jersey because they could not find the one that they had brought for him. So, super cool card there. This one is not in the best condition. Got some corner issues down there, but still a couple dollar card. Super cool story to go with that one. And uh, goes right by the Menendez Brothers one. I like that card too. But we got some more base cards, insert cards, checklist cards of Jordan that I just pulled out. These are all, I would say, a buck a piece, 50 cents a piece, that kind of stuff. We have a little bit more Michael Jordan here. A couple upper deck inserts, NBA hoops, more Fleer 91. I think I had thousands and thousands of this year card. Michael Jordan from NBA Hoops there. Uh, these were probably my favorite card when I started collecting. I started collecting in 89, 90, right around there. Um, of course, right after the Ken Griffey Jr. upper deck year. But the, I had a ton of these because Fleer was cheap. I couldn't really afford the upper deck stuff most of the time. Once in a while we would, but I had a ton of these in the Michael Jordan one was so cool. Some more NBA hoops. Another one with Jordan and Malone. Cool card there. Nice tops base. Love this year of tops. NBA hoops. And then we have a bunch of these. Oh, got a great Fleer Ultra insert there, inside, outside. Great looking card there. And a bunch of these upper deck. Um promotional Michael Jordan cards. So that is the extent of the trade. Again, the trade was completed with the guy named Trenton from Steel Yard Sports Cards. Check him out on Whatnot. Trenton's a great guy. Um, I feel like it was a great deal on both ends of it. I'd like to know from you guys, what was the best trade that you ever made? Did you guys ever have a perfect trade that just worked out for you and the person that you traded with perfectly? Let me know in the comment section down below. Let me know what your favorite 90s basketball error card or mistake card or kind of mishap card. Like these ones here are both kind of mishap cards. I love the fact that they're both in this kind of worthless set to begin with, um, with really the only card of value being these ones. Yeah, let me know what your favorite 90s basketball card is. Until next time, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comment section down below. Keep collecting, have fun, and I'll talk to you soon.